What is up, my flockers? I got a great video for you guys today. I'm going to be going through my Superman collection of Funko Pop statues and collectible toys. Superman is one of my favorites, so I'm, this is a very exciting video for me. Also, uh, I am going to show you what is the second part of the giveaway, where you guys will have the option between either the comic that I showed you before or these Funko Pops, so stay tuned to that video. Alright, so like I was saying, second part of the giveaway where you Please. One, two, three! Open them, open them, open them, open them, open them! You can you can You're going to have the option to choose either between the comic or these. I want to show these to you before I get into the video. And what this is, is I will give away this entire X-Men Collector's Corpse box. So as you see here, you get these awesome Funko Pops, which is Logan with the Bone Claws and Mystique turning in, uh, Mystique as Logan and her kind of transforming from Logan uh, into Mystique. Really cool, guys. I will be transparent. One of the boxes has a little bit of a nick um, on it, on the Logan Bone Claws. It also has the t-shirt in here, which is like a super, super large shirt. So again, giveaway will happen once we hit 50 subs on the channel. Uh, we're at 38 right now, so we're getting really close. Do it as a appreciation for all the views and subscribers that um, consistently keep getting you guys you guys are awesome I'm not gonna always do giveaways because like I said I'm not looking to build this channel through giveaways or um, I want people to really enjoy the content and I feel like I have some cool things to show off and hopefully that's what people stay for but I do want to thank you guys when when I get the chance so all right so I'm gonna start from kind of the base Funko Pops that I have and then we'll work to some awesome grails because I worked hard at building the Superman collection. I have a shrine dedicated to him. He's by far the best superhero. Gets a lot of hate because he's the most powerful. Um, but in my opinion, screw the haters. Don't be hating. Gotta hate the strongest, right? Whatever. Alright, so starting off with one of the more recent Superman Funko Pops to come out would be the Cyborg Superman. So this guy was in the New 52 comics. I'm sure he was in the comics before that, but also in uh, one of the recent um, Justice League movies. I might have just been specific to Superman, but I believe it was a Justice League one um, of the animated series, and this was a great character. It was a very good animated movie. Um, so when I saw this come out, I had to pick that up. So what that is, this one was a... Um, 2020 summer convention limited edition exclusive. I can't remember which con this was from um, It's really escaping me right now. and It doesn't even say on here, but there was a specific con that this was from uh, So it's really cool Awesome character. I would love that Cyborg under him the way that they did this pop so really cool this next one here is Superman number one so this was a fall convention exclusive that they rolled out this was from 2017 so if you see here it's got him in that number one comic costume or um yeah his costume from from the first comic that uh basically premiered all superheroes right which is also a cool thing about superman he really started the superhero movement in the sense of he was the first one created from the comics so i love this one i think they're doing a kind of a redo of this and it will come with a funko comic of like the number one comic which i thought was a cool concept so some people hate when they kind of uh redo some of the vaulted pops um, but if it's done right, I don't mind it. If it's just an exact replica of the one they did before, it just feels like a money grab and you're kind of screwing over the collectors. So this one here is the Superman from the Man of Steel. 
and the detail on his costume on this Funko Pop is awesome. This one is honestly I think undervalued. <clears throat> when I say that it's a vaulted pop and the value that it shows on like pop price guide I think is somewhere in the neighborhood of like forty dollars but to find one in a good condition like this one like this this one is pretty much perfect I, you know like comic book rating wise like a, this would be a nine eight nine six it is extremely hard to find one that is not messed up for a good price i it took me forever and i had to pay more than pop price guide for one one that was in this condition so keep that in mind when looking for this pop these next two pops i will show side by side <clears throat> these are getting into our grails our grail superman Funko pops i love these these are really cool i love these guys so we got the chase superman um and the difference here is the chase superman og box versus the newer version box so this is the the all blue without the black and there's obviously the og box which i love those box types it's just to me am i holding up the right one i'm not <laughs> so this one here right like that's representative of like old school Funko I love that and his metallic on this guy really shows through compared to other metallic Funko Pops that I have when I found this good dude he's got a little bit of an issue up here in this right corner but for the price I got him for it didn't matter because this one's not leaving my collection now this guy I had no intention of looking for another one I went to the store that uh, was near near where I live about 30 minutes away I usually don't go to this town and I walked into a, a, a store that had a bunch of different Funko Pops and they had this awesome cabinet where any chase Funko Pop they got in their order they would just pull out of that that order they put it in this cabinet and no matter which chase it was they sold them for $25 flat 25 bucks when I got this from that store this guy was a $150 pop I've never found a chase like that out in the wild I've seen some like ones that no one wanted that that does happen where they release a chase and nobody wants it this is not the case for this one it was that was exciting and I think I talked about this in a different video before but that's what makes hunting fun all right two more Funko Pops left and then a couple of statues this dude here is the bedrock exclusive kingdom come uh, Superman so cool the storyline from this comic and this book is is great and I believe they're even making like a CW series um, based on this uh, version of Superman and I just really liked his I love his symbol that's different than the other Superman I love the red eyes very rare pop from a Superman standpoint so very happy to have him in my collection <clears throat> all right so now here's the cream of the crop the cream rises to the top macho man Randy Savage I'm sure there's some people too young watching this to have no clue what I'm talking about this is my pride and joy of my entire collection being that superman is my favorite superhero being that this is uh my favorite version of superman watching the movies the man of steel being that justice league snyder cut is coming out very soon and it's very relevant to this collection he's my favorite this is the san diego comic-con Hold on, let's see if you guys can guess. The San Diego Comic Con black suit, 1,008 piece Superman. Look at him. This guy kicks ass. I love it. So this this has always been a dream pop of mine. The fact that it's in my collection is is amazing 
and I pulled the trigger to get this guy at the perfect time. And I don't know if uh, I brought this up when I was talking about, like, uh, I don't know if I brought this up when I was talking about investing in pops with this one specifically, but I knew the Snyder Cut was coming out. I knew he was supposed to be in his black suit. I'm like, I cannot wait. So I, so I ended up buying him for, I want to say $180, which is a lot for a pop. I get that. But I knew it was one that I had to have. Um, had some extra cash from doing some side things, and I got him. Three weeks later, he dropped, he jumped to like 600 bucks. Now, he's only going to go up probably after the movie comes out. So I'm glad I have him. And this one is in perfect condition. So happy to have this uh, in my collection. I need to do some dusting of these guys. This is This is a very fun pop to be able to show off. And his suit is so perfect. Like, if you guys don't know, he was originally supposed to be in the initial Justice League. And the black suit is his regeneration suit. Helps him heal faster. Which only makes sense in that movie because he had just kill, been killed by Doomsday as being brought back to life. Why would he not be written in in his black suit showing that he's regenerating and kind of helping him heal? Uh, the fact they took that out just shows the previous director had no clue what he was doing. It makes me upset, obviously. All right, guys, I know we're running a little long, so I'm going to kind of go through these other ones. Um, speaking of uh, the animated series and regeneration suit, I got this figure because I thought he was sweet. One to play with my son with, but this is um, the Man of Steel Superman. So this one in the new animated movie was one of the versions of Superman that, you know, kind of protected the city after he had been killed until he came back. Spoiler alert, Superman doesn't die. Um, so uh, th this one is a really cool one to have on my uh, gaming center over there. This one was, I forget which uh, guy does this, but basically they had a bunch of stands from like uh, the Justice League and a bunch of different figures. He doesn't resemble necessarily the Justice League one as some of the other ones do, but I thought he was a really cool. I liked his pose. Um, I love the high collar on Superman. And this baby. Now I have two statues that look very similar. <laughs> the other one I kind of broke off the cape when I was doing some laundry and I had to glue it back on. And I'm never going to sell it, so you know I would never try to scam anybody, but... Um, I don't want to move it because I'm afraid that it'll break off. But this is the cooler one out of the two anyways. So that's Superman. Again, high collar. In that awesome, like, iconic pose of where he's, like, up in the air ready to, like, fly down. Um, this one was, uh, I can't remember. I think it's something Hammer is the guy who designed the statue. It's one of uh, 5,200. Um Statues, they only made 5,200 of it. This is number 782 of uh, 5,200. So very cool. I got this a great deal. I got one that's in an auction for a very good price. Um, almost one-tenth of what most of them are selling for right now. But again, this is nothing in my Superman collection will ever be sold. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Just to kind of recap and as a reminder, we will be giving away the uh, Miles Morales number 18 or 16 CGC comic and um, or you get the choice of the Marvel X-Men 20th Anniversary Collector's Corpse Funko Pops with the t-shirt and pin in there. That'll be the choice once we hit 50 subs. I'll do a ran random uh, randomizer for the name. I'll create a video let you guys know I'm going to be doing it. Give you guys all time to comment. I'll pull names from the comments because some people's YouTube tags are um, private so I can't see your name unless you comment so that'll be part of what I need you guys to do not necessarily just have my video have more comments but I, I can't get all of you in there unless you comment on the video because I don't know who's necessarily subscribed so hopefully you guys enjoyed it take it easy I mean the comments this part this is my pride and joy collection um it's i love it so hopefully you guys do too 
let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. I'd love to see if you guys are into Superman, and if so, which uh, Funko Pops you guys like. All right, that's it for me. Peace out. My blockers.